Bonjour Year 8, ex Suisse. Welcome to Lesson 14. And today you're going to be talking about um, looking at holidays online. Voyager en ligne. Before you begin the lesson, please make sure you've got all the equipment listed below ready. Pause to do so. Thank you to everyone who sent me photos of your amazing work from last lesson. It's such a pleasure to see such accurate work and how thoroughly you're completing the tasks. So you should have all had my feedback by now. Please email me if you have any questions at all on the activities from today's lesson, or it'd be great to see a photo of your work for an achievement point. Here's my email address. Also, I've, set, I've put nominations down on the um, one of the final slides asking you to send work in today. So your names will be on that slide. As always, can you write down the date for me in French, jeudi 21 mai? And also, can you write down the title, pouvez-vous recommander un bon restaurant? Can you recommend a good restaurant? And also write down the objective. That is to learn key phrases needed to find out information about a holiday destination. So pause to do all of that now. Make sure you underline um, neatly. And now for your doing activity, this may take up to 10 minutes. Please fill in the bl blank of these sentences, one to six, with a logical word from the bank of words provided, which are these words here. Faut, ici, recommandé, avait, peu, and ou. So use these words to fill in the blanks with a logical word. A uh, word that makes the phrase make sense, the question makes sense. And then I would like you to translate into English. Pause to do that now. And here are your answers, year eight. Uh, numéro un, qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire ici? Okay. Deux, pouvez-vous recommander un bon hôtel? Trois. Où est le centre commercial? Quatre. Qu'est-ce qu'il faut visiter ici? Cinq. Avez-vous une carte de la région, s'il vous plaît? Et six. Est-ce qu'il y a une piscine près d'ici? OK, pause to check that work now. And here are the answers in English. Numéro 1, what can you do here? Numéro 2, can you recommend a good hotel? Numéro 3, where is the shopping centre? 4, what should you visit here? Numéro 5, do you have a map of the region or area? Et finalement, numéro 6, is there a swimming pool near here? Well done, Year 8, if you got all of those correct. Make sure that you pause and you check that everything is completed correctly in French and in English. Now I'm going to pass you to Mrs. Turner, who's going to deliver the rest of the lesson, which I hope you enjoy on the topic of holidays. And then on one of the final slides, I'm going to tell you who I've nominated to send in their fantastic work today. Merci. Au revoir. Activité 1. Listen to the pronunciation and repeat in the pauses provided. You do not need to press pause on the video for this task. When you have finished all of the questions, rewind the video and repeat again. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire ici? Pouvez-vous recommander un bon hôtel? Où est le centre commercial? Qu'est-ce qu'il faut visiter ici? Avez-vous une carte de la région, s'il vous plaît? Est-ce qu'il y a une piscine près d'ici? Well done. Now rewind the video and practice again.
Activité 2. Match the most suitable response to each question. Write the number and the letter into your book. Pause the video now. Bien. Let's check your work. Here were the six questions. Let's see what the answers should have been. Un, des, deux, e. Trois, A. Quatre, F. Cinq, B. Six, C. Let's look at those a little bit more closely. So, number one, the answer was D. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire ici? What can one do here? So really, if you're scan reading, you might scan read and look for either the verb faire or on peut faire or on peut with any other infinitive, such as on peut aller or on peut visiter, on peut manger or whatever. All things that one can do in a place. Numéro 2. Pouvez-vous recommander un bon hôtel? Do you see the word hotel repeated in the answer? Um, but don't just jump to conclusions. Check that it is a recommendation. What's positive in this answer that tells us it's a recommendation? Perhaps this mais vraiment luxueux, but really luxurious. Numéro 3. Où est le centre commercial? Where is the shopping center? Près du parking, near the car park, et près de la gare, near the station. Quatre, qu'est-ce qu'il faut visiter? What must one visit here? So look for either the verbs, il faut visiter or il faut voir, and also some monuments or places of interest. So here we've got il faut visiter la cathédrale, le château, la forêt. For example, cinq avez-vous? Do you have? It's going to be a yes no answer. Oui, bien sûr. Yes, of course. Voilà. Here you go. Six, est-ce qu'il y a une piscine? Est-ce qu'il y a? Is there? So it's going to be a yes or a no, potentially. Or you might see. The word près de being included, or near to, or something about swimming pools, piscine. And here you see the word piscine and près du parc, près de l'université. Lots of clues to give you your answers. Okay, so looking again at those responses, you may have noticed a few new phrases. Eh bien, on peut faire du shopping et il y a plusieurs bons restaurants. Hmm, voyons. Le centre commercial est au centre-ville. Alors, vous avez de la chance. Il y a une piscine au centre sportif. These words and phrases highlighted in yellow are really time fillers or phrases that give you thinking time while you decide what to say. They're quite handy, um, especially if you're having a spontaneous conversation and you need a little bit of time to gather your thoughts and think about what to say. Right, now that you have seen a few of those um, thinking time phrases in context, I'd like you to copy this note into your book with both the French and the English translation. You have five minutes, so pause the video now. Activité 4. Write your own responses to these six key questions for a town of your choice. It could be the town where you live or it could be another town with lots of interest for tourists and something that you know about. 
try to include at least three of those thinking time phrases in your answers. I know that those are not phrases that you normally would plan to say. They're something that usually comes quite spontaneously and just gives you time to think about what you're going to say. But because they're new to us, you're going to write them down and plan them into your answers. You have 15 minutes, so pause the video now. Activité 5. Listen to the questions. After each one, press pause and say your answer aloud. Un. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire ici? Deux. Pouvez-vous recommander un bon hôtel? Trois. Où est le centre commercial? Quatre. Qu'est-ce qu'il faut visiter ici? Cinq. Avez-vous une carte de la région, s'il vous plaît? Six. Est-ce qu'il y a une piscine près d'ici? Well done, Year 8. I look forward to hearing a few recordings of those being sent to me by email. Bon travail, Year 8. Well done. Fantastic work today. I would like to nominate the following students to send me photos of their work from this lesson. Izzy, Alice, Elisa, Alfie and Kieran, you have been nominated. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Should you have any time remaining in your hour for French today, spend it learning the vocabulary in the indicated sections of your knowledge organiser. Today that would be section 2, asking questions, and section 8, being a tourist, and that's from the vocabulary sheet of your knowledge organiser. Have a good day.